that bowl cut. Okay, here is another one of my hair experiences. This one was some years ago now in the late 80s. I was 14, and it was the summer holidays. I had begun to realize that haircutting was a turn-on for me and had been getting progressively adventurous with my cuts. I had always had pretty much shortish hair in a fairly ordinary girl's shortcut, resembling a page boy through the mid-80s. Anyway, at the time, we had a stylist come to the house for trims. I hadn't really given much thought to my cut, until the spur of the moment. I find that once the cutting starts, I get very exited and much more adventurous asking for things I normally wouldn't. So I sat down on a chair in the kitchen and I realized it would be a while before school started, therefore. If I was going for something radical, now's the time. I had already had the back-graduated scissor over comb the previous cut, so it was short on my neck. The stylist asked what I wanted and I just blurted it out. Can you do it like shaved this time? Now, bowl cuts, or basin cuts as they were known, were very fashionable then, so my request wasn't too unusual. Well, how high, the stylist said, so I drew a line with my finger at the back of my head, quite roughly. To the top of your ears, she said in a surprised voice. Um, yeah. I was confused at why it seemed so odd to her. It was a popular style. But it will be just neck, she was almost shouting now. Okay, if that's what you want, but don't tell anyone. It was me who did it. I was now feeling very nervous, and it began to dawn on me as she pulled out her rechargeable little black clipper shaver that instead of a clippered neck, I was about to get a shaved bald one. Hi. Looking back, I think I knew what I was doing. I remember feeling very mischievous at the time, and not least, very turned on and excited. My mom was in the room too, and the stylist asked if it was okay. My mom didn't seem to have a clue and said no problem. The stylist was used to doing old ladies blue rinses and hadn't a clue what was in. She just took it all literally. She didn't even have clippers, just the shaver. It was this experience that taught me the difference between clippers and the clipper shaver. Talk about learning the hard way. Shaving my neck took forever. She would shave away little patches at a time, working gradually upwards. Even though it was short, the clumps soon piled up. I remember thinking how high it was going when she got to the top of my ears. It felt unnatural at that point, like it was too high, especially for a girl. I was getting into punky haircut territory now, and that excited me very much. She finally finished, and I was by then dying to see it, very nervous, and not fully aware of the length or lack of any. She layered the top a little, making it look fuller than a proper boy's bowl cut, and it was done. I stood up, and my mom told me to turn round, which was received with a gasp, and then a laughing off saying it was very different or something like that. As I felt it, it did feel really weird. Not a sensation I've had before, even though it's been clippered as close as possible since. That is grade one. It was the first time I'd even had an electric tool on my locks. I went straight for the bathroom to check the damage, and I fell in love with it. Facing the mirror, I didn't look much different, but on turning round and seeing the back view with the small mirror, I could see my new hairline. So basically, it was like a usual high-clippered bowl but shaved bald, so now I just had the hair on top and my hairline stopped at the top of my ears. In that sense, it didn't feel anything like other clippered haircuts. I had hair then, shaved bald skin at my neck. She was right, it was just neck. When the stubble grew, it felt very different again. Returning to school. One girl said she liked it, but next time I shouldn't have it clippered so high, little did she know. I won a lot of respect from harder girls and the more trendy who had many clippered styles themselves. I thought I would have got more strange looks than I did, maybe because it grew out quick and I didn't expect the compliments I got. My only regret is that I didn't get a photo. I am sad about that, and many people have asked for one, so sorry, folks. After that, I grew it out again, gradually getting to my shoulders until I was 17. But that's another story. <coughs> Flat Top Friday, Bob Barker, by Barber Jaws. One Friday a month, a local barber shop would have what they called Flat Top Friday. This meant that everyone who came could get a flat top for free on this one Friday. One of the Fridays a few months ago, my girlfriend made a bet with me. You see, 
she had always wanted me to get a buzz cut. But I never had. The bet was that if I got a flat top, she would get one too. Losing my hair was going to be worth it just to see her get clipped. So we walked down to the barber shop that sponsored the event. They even had special chairs so that they could tell which people wanted a flat top and which ones wanted just a regular haircut. It always gathered a large crowd, some getting clipped and others just watching. Both of us sat down in the special chairs. They took me right away. The good thing about this event was that the barbers never asked any questions. I went over and sat down in the barber's chair. The barber strapped the cape around, made sure that I knew what I was getting into, and then started cutting the sides and back with the clippers. I looked how short he was cutting it there, and I saw that he was shaving it to the scalp. I watched as my blonde hair fell lifelessly to the floor under the wake of the clippers. After the sides and back were shaved clean, he went to the top. He put the two guard on and started clipping again. It felt wonderful to feel the clippers glide over my head. I looked over at my girlfriend and noticed that she was having an orgasm. I knew that she had a hair fetish, but I never said anything. I was all finished. Now it was her turn. She hopped in the chair that I had just been in and asked for the same cut, but she did have one special request. She wanted me to do it. So I gave the barber $1.50 and told him to close up the shop and leave for 20 minutes. This would be plenty of time for her to get clipped. I had her in the chair and now she was going to go through with the bet. I picked up the clippers and started to shave the sides and back of her head, just like mine had been. She loved hearing the sound of the clippers working on her head. She also loved seeing her long blonde locks being shorn. Now it was time for the top. I put the two guard on the clippers and started to clip the top of her head. I methodically moved the clippers from front to back. She even took the clippers from me and started to cut it herself. The aftermath of what we did was measured by the amount of blonde hair that was on the floor of the barbershop. shop. 